Hi everybody, and welcome back to In The Kitchen, my kitchen. I'm a mother of four, it's really busy, and time is tight. I was able to return to college because of the Community College Opportunity Grant, a free tuition grant. Hudson County Community College changed my life. The college community made me feel like a person, not just a number. The Community College Opportunity Grant covers additional costs while keeping me debt free. I'm building a new future at Hudson County Community College. Okay, welcome back to In The Kitchen. I am happy this evening. I have a wonderful guest. His name is Chef Mark. Let me move this over a little. From Remarkably Cuisine. I met him through Instagram. I was going through and I saw some pictures and I said, wow, these look good. That's how I meet a lot of people. And you know, they're very talented. I contacted him and we made arrangements for him to come on the show. <clears throat> so he will be here a little later on. I interviewed him and he has a nice dish that he prepared and I know you're going to enjoy it. Okay, so I am making stuffed tomatoes, okay? A few days ago, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see here, I made stuffed peppers with the same ingredients as I'm going to tell you. Okay, so I have my ground turkey. You could use beef. That's left up to you. <coughs> Excuse me. I have some ricotta, nice amount of ricotta. I have some Parmesan, mozzarella. I have some parsley, basil, oregano, a little salt and pepper and an egg. And all of that is gonna to come together inside the bowl with the ricotta, okay? So, I say one tomato that I haven't dug out, so to speak, so to speak, which I wanna do it in front of you. Okay, I can put this here. So here's my, my tomato. Oh, I'm smelling, this is good. Here's my tomato. And what I'm going to do, just cut the top of it, okay? You see that? Real simple, just the top. Put this on the side. Let's get a, put that in there. Okay. Now, the next part, I want to take the insides out of this. So what I do, I use this little paring knife and I just dig in, if, as you can see, and I slant the knife at an angle so it can go into, into the center. Look at this. Look at this. Look, look how, look how easy that was. And you see it was slanted, okay? Now what I do, I try to get more on the inside by going like this and still slanting it. So to get to the middle, a little bit more, a little bit more, and look at that. Oops, come on. It came out real easy, see? Let's put it there. Now over here, there's a little bit more flesh. So I wanna try and cut that out, put it there. A little bit more, if you can see, the camera's gonna come up close so you can see it. And try not to put a hole in it, okay? And stick your finger. <laughs> okay. Trying to dig this out. All right. See, this is very easy. Okay, so, look at that. You don't have to get all the meat out of it. So um, we call it the meat of the tomato. Just get most of it out, okay? So I'm gonna take this, put it over here, bring this one back. And now we are ready to work on these tomatoes, tomato, however you wanna call it. Okay, 
Here I have some seasoning. This is R.L. Schreiber. This is the roasted garlic pepper. I use this all the time and it's very, very, very good. Okay, so let me put this here, put this one here, and let's bring these. All right, so they are evenly distributed. Instead, I can turn this off now. So they are evenly distributed. Um, I just put a little in each, then I layer it in a little bit each. Instead of putting it all in one, all in one, when you get down to the, to the last one, you say, oh, I don't have enough, okay? So I just take a little bit at a time and a little sip of wine. Mm, 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 mm. And that's how I set it up. So there is an even amount, okay? So before we do that, let me put this here. We have to assemble everything. So here is my cheese. I hope you can see that. Okay, I could set this here. Now I can start adding my ingredients, okay? First thing I'm going to do is use my palm, and I'm using a spatula just to pull this all together, all right? So here's my palm. Oh yeah, and you know the Parmesan, is, it has a, a taste of its own, so it's gonna really, really pull it together, okay? I have some grated fresh mozzarella. Okay, the ricotta and, and mozzarella came from a store up the street from here in Jersey City by the name of Andrea Salu Maria. Sal Salu Maria. I always get twisted when I say the name. Thanks, Pete. Their stuff is the best. I mean, the best. Everything is freshly made. Okay, so here we go. Some fresh mozzarella and what I did I took it and I cut it and then I grated it okay sometimes you can buy it in the store if you can get a chance to go to an Italian store and get this please do there is a difference some of the cheeses that you buy in the bags you notice they never stick together that's because they're coated with some type of flour or whatever they use and that's why it never sticks together and it doesn't have the same taste, you know, as a fresh. So I suggest that you do this. Woo! This is gonna be wonderful. Okay, parsley. I did some fresh parsley. This is gonna help it along really good. Oh, I hate when the parsley gets stuck to my fingers. Okay, so we have the parsley. The next thing we're gonna do, hmm, 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 some oregano. I just took like a teaspoon of oregano. This is dry oregano. And remember, oh, I smell that, I smell that. And remember the dry oregano sometimes, it depends on the spice, it can be a little um, powerful. So a little bit goes a long way and that's a half a teaspoon. Okay, basil, have some basil. This is like a good teaspoon. Sprinkle this in. Okay. We could do that. Wow. This is going to be wonderful. I can't sing, right? Demine. Stick to cooking. Okay. Now, next I'm adding a little of the roasted garlic pepper. Oh, we can shake it up. And remember, Make sure the cover is on. Because imagine, imagine if I was doing this and I'm shaking it up and the whole thing falls apart. What would I do? Cut and start all over again and then be mad at myself. <laughs> okay. And remember to put your seasoning as this is in your ham. When I mentioned this several times, when you're using, say for instance, this, take it and squeeze it between your fingers. And what does that do? It releases the oils. Mm. Oh yeah, I can smell it. And see, it's all on my hand. It's real fine, opposed to 
be in here. Okay. There we go. Oh, did I do that? <laughs> okay, you see how this is coming along? This is real, real simple. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this up a little. And I'm just sort of folding it. You can use a fork if you like. Now, my egg, this is one egg beaten. <laughs> okay, there's one egg. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna mix it. Look at this. Look at that. It looks so good. Actually, I think I'm gonna use my fork. I think that would be better. Oh, wow. This is going to be so good. Now, I'm gonna, let me add just a pinch of salt. Now, remember your salt intake, okay? You don't want too much salt. Because who wants to eat food and then you bite into it and you taste salt? Does that make any sense? No. Okay. Ooh. This looks so good. Mmm. Imagine when this starts to melt down inside of the tomato. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. If you're making it for your kids, they're gonna say, Ma, is there any more? They're gonna say, No. Oh, could you make some, please? <laughs> oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, this is good. This is good. Yes, so as I was saying, I have um, Chef Mark coming on. He, he has a business and it's called Remarkable Cuisine. And you can find him on Instagram. Very, very, very nice person. Very nice person. He fixed a nice dish, which you are going to see in a couple of minutes. And I'm sure it's going to be an inspiration for you to make as well. Seriously, the guy is really, really good. And it's a pleasure to have him here. So we're going to take a run, watch Chef Mark, and then come back and we're going to put this all together and you're going to see it's not a, it's, it doesn't take a lot to do it it's real simple i'll have a sip of wine i keep remember forgetting don't hold a glass of wine like this because your hand is warm it'll heat your wine heat your wine heat your wine mm. so good okay so moving right along let's watch the interview with Chef Mark, be right back. Hi everybody and welcome back to In The Kitchen. I was surfing the internet, oh, maybe about two weeks ago and of course, looking at food, et cetera, you know, that's my life. And I, I saw some pictures of some food and I said, oh my goodness, this looks really good. Who could this person be? And I decided, let me get in contact with him. And his Instagram name is Remarkably Better. Am I saying it right, Chef? Yes, indeed, that's it. Okay, and he has a catering service and that's called Remarkable Cuisine, am I correct? That's that's 100% correct. Yes, yes, I finally got it right. You know, sometimes these things happen, you know, life goes on. Chef, Mark, thank you so much for taking the time today to come and share your, your, your food with us and your techniques for cooking. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? For sure, thank you for having me, for one. I'm delighted to be here, delighted to cook something with you. Uh, I am, my name is Mark McLean. I'm a chef out of the New Jersey area. I've been in business for about 10 years. 
and um, I have a catering business, and we are a private start as a private chef business where I was working uh, doing small small private parties, and I had a couple of professional athletes as clients, and I grew into a large scale catering business where we do events large and small, any type we can go into any business, we can make anything happen, any type of food. Um, we try to just make it remarkable. That's all. Wow! Wow! So apparently you love doing what you're doing. Um, you did say at one point when we talked before that you used to work on Wall Street. Am I correct? For sure. Uh, I am a career changer. Outside of college, I did about seven or eight years at Wall Street, where I traded, I day trade equities and commodities every day. However, I cooked all my life. Cooking is simple. Cooking is fun. Um, to me, cooking is easy. I was able to take that, figure out a way to change your careers, monetize it, and voila, here I am. I'm trying to be as remarkable as I can be. Oh, <laughs> okay. I like that name. That was good. That was good. I'm trying to be as remarkably as possible. Well, according to your pictures you did, you were doing an excellent job. And I know that you're going to throw down today. And what are you, what are you preparing for us? Tell us. Sure. We're going to do some, uh, we're going to do a nice play on a brunch option today. We're going to do a baked eggs. Uh, we're going to add a seafood element to that in a version of shrimp and some crispy skin salmon. Uh, okay. Baked eggs are a fun option to poaching eggs, frying eggs. They basically can put any type of veg in a pot. Um, you basically set your veg pretty well. You saute a little bit, add any type of flavoring. Today we're going to use some smoked sea salt, Himalayan sea salt. We're going to use some crushed red pepper for some spice. We're going to dot some tomato sauce around. And then we're going to bake our eggs with our shrimp and our salmon inside. At the oh, same right. time, we're gonna make a nice arugula salad to put on top. It's gonna to provide a nice acidic, fresh quality that's gonna be kind of bright and endearing for a nice um, savory runny egg. All right, all right. Um, I, did I tell you I have a drone with a basket on it? It's gonna go zzzz. <laughs> get, get it over here, I'm ready to go. We got good weather today, so we can uh, we can take <laughs> I'm just joking. All right, so let's get started. Show us what you're going to do, Mark. All right, so a couple of things I have going on over here. Ingredient-wise, I just have some simple basic ingredients. So I have some diced bell pepper. I have a little bit of dino kale. You can use spinach also if you want. I have some uh, white onion, um, a little bit of garlic in there. I have some half cherry tomatoes, uh, some brown eggs, a little bit of tomato sauce. store bought is fine. Yeah. Baby arugula. Um, some chopped stallion, some shaved parm or American farm, granite potato, mm -hmm. fancy. A little bit of a, a little bit of parsley and micro arugula. At the same time, I have a, a bit of salmon. I already seared the skin on it. Um, with that, I have some raw shrimp, which is funny because I'm not going to sear the shrimp. I'm going to use the shrimp and actually bake it with the eggs and use that as a time eater. Yeah. To come out. Now I love the sourdough bread, which you won't grill. We need a little bit of bread to sop up our eggs and yeah. drink the Jose like I am a bunch and a little bread in my heart. Okay. Um, I'm also going to do this two ways for you guys. I'm going to do one in a cast iron pan, a little individual pan, this one right here, which I already started sauteing, some onions, peppers, a little bit of kale. And then okay. I'm going to do a larger one in a nonstick pan, which we're going to be going right now. And the best thing about this one is that you can actually make this large skill of eggs that you do. And okay. then you can put it right in the middle of the table and everybody can just grab a spatula and a plate and just grab some eggs out of there and enjoy it. Nice okay. okay. So I'm just sauteing some veg. I got a little olive oil in there. Like I said, I have some diced bell pepper. I have some last little kale, which is called dino kale because of the way it looks. Okay. Uh, Easily available in the supermarket. I'm going to season that in my salt grinder. There's a little bit of pink sea salt, which I like. It's oh. kind of super salty. It's good for you, little things like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And like I said, a little bit of garlic, uh, garlic and onion. Uh, Chef, what do you like to eat for brunch? Tell me something that you like. Oh, for brunch. Well, I am trying, to, you know, summer is around the corner. And um, I am trying to lose a, little, uh, lose a little bit of the weight, you know, <laughs> yeah. because 
Um, in the summer, you can't cover it up. In the winter, you can. But if I have anything, I do like um, fruit. Um, a mixture of fruit, I might have some of that. If I pick something, I like eggs and I like sunny sunny side eggs. That is that is one of my favorite. You know, just let it cook a little, let it just run a little, depending on, on what I'm having it with. Um, if I eat any type of bread, I like pumpernickel. That's my favorite. I love pumpernickel bread. Uh, the yeah. good thing about this baked eggs dish is that when you really nail it to perfection, you can get your eggs as runny or as cooked as you like. Myself, yeah. I'm like you, I like runny eggs. I yeah. that yolk to just run right out. Make mm -hmm. it a little bit messy, you know what I mean? And that's when my bread comes into play. But you can also do this and you can cook the eggs a little bit more if you want, you can cook a little less. It's all up to you. As long as you get those whites cooked, I like the way you do this in one pan and make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, recently what I've been doing, like I said, I'm trying just to lose the, lose the belly a little bit. I'll just have something in the morning and then maybe around three o'clock, if there's something in the refrigerator that I can munch on, I'll have that. And then I wait to have dinner because I eat dinner late. Some people say it's not good to have dinner late, but it depends on, I guess, the person's metabolism. So what are you doing over there, Chef? I'm simply sauteing some bread. So I got some beautiful colors. You can call it Christmassy. I have the bell pepper, the kale, and onion and garlic, which uh -huh. I'm sauteing. In the two separate pans. Yeah. All right. It's in my favorite, really in my favorite pan, that cast iron. For sure, for sure. I grab yeah. a little bit of crushed red pepper. Oh, oh yeah, pepper. yeah, 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 yeah. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add our cherry tomatoes. Uh-huh. Not so they cook down, but just so they're in the pan. Mm -hmm. I'm saving a little bit too, because I'm making I'm gonna add some to my salad later. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. What what is some of your um favorite dishes while you prepare that? Tell us about it. Well, I'm a seafood type of guy. I love making great sandwiches, scallops, crab, um, halibut. We cut all our fresh fish. We cut all our fish fresh at Remarkable Cuisine. Um, and our weekly clients that get our meal prep, they know that we offer at least four to five fresh options, whether it be striped bass, halibut, tile fish. You name it, I find it, I cut it, and I cook it. So I'm yeah. a seafood person, um, but I like one pot dishes also. I like building flavors. If people don't understand, that starts from when you cut something and put it in the pan. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm yes, building. I see. Yeah, I I love um, catfish, catfish nuggets per se. I love mm -hmm. that. I love red snapper. I even like tilapia. Now I remember people saying, "Oh, tilapia, that's not real fish." You know, people. Say, one person say something on the internet and goes around, "Oh, did you know tilapia is not real fish?" Yes, it is real. But I can have some tilapia, and there was another one that I liked, um, Sanaya, something like that. I haven't seen it much. Um, uh, maybe, maybe swag. I think it's when it's spelled S A N I A or something like that. It's a okay. it's a white fish and it's very very meaty. I haven't had it in a while, but fish I I just love love me some fish, and mm -hmm. chicken, of course, and and turkey. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I'm adding a little bit of tomato sauce. Okay, I'm adding it around my pan, almost like I'm making a margarita pizza, because I'm going to put my eggs right on top of this. Okay. Oh, a quick little mm -hmm. secret. You guys always crack eggs well. You can you move shoulder. your pan? Can you move your pan in the center so we can see it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Back a little. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it back towards you a little bit. A little more. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. We see it. Okay. So I'm going to crack these eggs right in this pan. All right. My uh -huh. secret to doing that is to crack the egg in the middle, once on each side, and then split and drop it right in. Yeah. Remember, because I'm baking this egg, it's okay. I've got a little yolk in there. I have the egg white, all that fun. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys to do, which is really important, preach your oven. I like obscure uh I like obscure temperatures. Go somewhere between 368 to 392. Pick okay. one. It doesn't matter. It's not gonna change that much this Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna do about four eggs in this pan. Why? Because I can, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I might mess up one. I have three others to suffice. <laughs> <laughs>
And plus, once you see how pretty this is gonna be, with the red, the white, the green, now the egg, you'll have an idea of what exactly we're putting together. Okay. I put, I put my eggs in there, I'm gonna season those. A little bit of salt. Now, I'm going to take my salmon that I seared a little earlier. Yes. put that right in the middle. Oh, wow. Okay. And for this dish, I'm just gonna do one shrimp. Why? Yeah, my choice. Make it look good. I'm gonna season that shrimp. Yeah. I have my pepper. I'm gonna drop a little bit of fresh ground pepper on top. Uh huh. I was probably more than a little bit. Then I'm gonna go with a little bit of olive oil. Mmm. See that? Yeah. Guys, get a view of this. Yeah. That's my baked eggs. Okay. That looks good. So that's one of them. I'm going to do it again in the other pan. Once again, in my cast iron, I have my vegetables, I have my onions, my garlic, my bell pepper, mm -hmm. some dino kale, and I have some cherry tomato. I'm going to do two eggs in this, and then do two shrimp. Remember, okay. when my shrimp have cooked, my eggs come out. That is my cooking timer. Okay. okay. One egg again. Two eggs in there. I have some raw shrimp. Oh, yeah. Putting right in there. I'm going to season up everything very nicely. Yep. Himalayan sea salt, fresh pepper. Mm hmm. And then a nice drizzle of olive oil. We focus olive oil more so on the shrimp to kind of get it married in there. Yeah. And guys, right now I can go right to the oven. I have yeah. my oven on 383 convection. Okay. And I'm putting these pots right in the oven, just as they are. Yes. See that? Yeah. Because I'm fancy and baking my eggs. Now, okay. if you're smart, you set a timer, okay? Um, let's start our timer at seven minutes, okay? We're gonna just estimate that. I know that I'm gonna check it before that and I'm gonna check it after. And somewhere in between that, I'm gonna be pulling those eggs out. So I'm you're saying time. that it's gonna take approximately seven minutes? It's gonna be about seven minutes. I would say anywhere six and a half to 10. So our average is about seven to eight. But you're gonna to have to play with it. Ovens differ, the racks differ. We're baking our eggs when our white set and when our yolks runny. You yeah. might want your yolks a little more cooked as your choice. My wife, she likes her yolks cooked. I like mine runny. I pull yes. mine out early, I take my eggs out, I pour hers back in. It's a simple answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Chef, you like any salads? Yes, I do. I, I like fruit salads. Um, okay. One time I did have some some food around, and let me see, I had some tofu. Um, oh, I had pineapple. I had some cherry tomatoes. Whatever I had, and I made a wonderful salad. It was so good. I put it on the internet, and everybody loved it. Yeah, I like salads. I'm not, like, overbearing with them. Oh. Now we're good. I'm gonna put a little more tomato sauce. If you want okay. Food. It's like kind of like a filler. Remember, I put some in the beginning, and I'm gonna uh -huh. dot it around, almost like a margarita pizza. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. All right. So go ahead. Tell me about the salad because we're gonna do the yeah. salad right now. Huh? I said you said you did a fruit salad. Yeah, yeah. I just had salad. some. I had some fruit. Oh, and I had spinach. I like raw spinach. That's that was the base. That was the foundation. I had the, the raw spinach. I I just happened to pick up some. Um, uh, I was at a supermarket, some tofu, and I had some pineapple, the um, cherry, um, tomatoes, and I just put it together. And let me tell you, 
Mark, it was so good. And I made a big plate because, you know, all of that is just going to go, you know, it's going to disappear anyway. But it was really, really good. Really good. Well, I asked you because I'm a salad feed. All I do is uh, get paid to make pretty, really good salads. That's oh, all okay. I do. What are you uh, making? I'm making a arugula salad right now. Okay. Uh, I'm doing that because we're actually going to be able to take this arugula salad and put it on top of our baked egg dish. Okay. So we can eat everything together. You'll get all the elements. You'll get crunch. You'll get citrus. You'll get cold. You'll get warm. It'll okay. be a party in your mouth. Okay. Okay. At the same time, it'll look beautiful because we're going to pile the salad on top. You'll have yeah. yellow eggs. You'll have green salad. We're, we're, we're creating colors and flavors here. We're doing something magical. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I got some baby arugula, nothing special. I'm going to teach you guys a little trick. I have that cherry tomato from earlier. And let me tell you, at this point, you can add a lot of different things in here. Let me give you some suggestions. You can add prosciutto or crumbled bacon if that's what you want to go for. You mm -hmm. can add goat cheese. Feta I love cheese. goat cheese, yeah. There's so many different options. A little bit of sliced red onion. I'm keeping it simple because I'm also going with the elements that are in our egg dish right now. So I'm adding to this arugula tomato, a little bit of our shaved parm. Okay. All right. And I'm going to make a dressing within the salad. How am I going to do that? I have some fresh lemon, mm -hmm. olive oil. I'm going to make a lemon vinaigrette. Simply okay. by putting both on and just tossing them around. Where you say? Where you said you live? <laughs> drone, I'm just joking, drone, sir. <laughs> I'm I did a little cross cut on my lemon yeah. to draw some of the juice out. Yes. And then I'm just squeezing some in. But watch me get some height. That's because I'm yeah. fancy. Yeah, the same when when I, I tell my viewers when you're using salt high above, so it's it's almost like um, it's snowing. It's almost like because snowing. if if you put it too close, you get too much in in one in one area, and you don't want that to happen. Yeah, it's almost like snow. You you are completely correct. Yeah, and guys, you have to understand that the the, the lemon is the acidic factor. Oil is the fatty factor. I have a little yes. bit of balsamic, which I'm going to use for the sweet factor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All I have to do with this now, you just give it a little toss around. Yep. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure all of the leaves are nice and cool. I just yes. want to see a little sheen on it. Yep, not too much. You guys don't want to overdress your side. You overdress your side, it gets all wilted and it's like looking droopy and everything. <laughs> That, I remember when I remember when I was young, I would do that all oh, all that dressing on it, you know. And you're not yeah. chasing the lettuce or whatever you're using; you're chasing the dressing. I'll tell you another secret, Chef. I'm I'm more of a fan of simple vinaigrettes versus mm -hmm. like a creamy dressing or a Caesar. All that stuff goes too far for me. I'll take uh, some lemon and olive oil. I make a simple dressing like that any day of the week. I let the other ingredients shine all the time. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. So this is, I looking, think our, this is looking really good. Yeah, our eggs have been in for about three and a half, probably four minutes. I have a little mm -hmm. bit to go if you want to check them out. You can. I can get a look at it if you guys want and show you guys what we're looking at. You want me to do that? Are you going to take a peek at it? Sure. I'll even play out for you guys to see. Okay. Looking good, huh? All right. You ready for this? Yeah. That's what we're looking Oh, yeah. That, that, that's what I'm talking about. So do you see what's happening? I cook everything at once. Shrimp, salmon, eggs. Now, you can always test your eggs by touching the yolk. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very runny and the whites need to cook a little more. So this is going to take about at most two minutes more. At the yeah. same time, my shrimp is getting a little bit pink. I want yeah. that to get pink and stop. And that's when we're done cooking. Right. Right. Do you see the way those eggs are shaking? Yes, I, yeah, yeah, I definitely do. Yeah, those, you want those yolks going to be running. That's right. Just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we have about two minutes about so on our eggs. If you want them running, I want them running. Yeah, I'm going to grill a little bit of bread. Okay, I had some sourdough, and if you come me over here, I got a grill pan working. Okay. I got some sourdough bread, mm -hmm. nice and crusty. We we'll put a little bit of olive oil on it. And hit it right on that grill. 
And I'm going to get it nice and custom. You want to hear a nice little secret, Chef? What's that? Sometimes I only do one side of the bread. Okay, yeah. Because I can use the other side to still be nice and soft. And I'll oh, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I don't want it to just like... I, I, I try not to do too much. I try not to use too much of the white bread. Like I mentioned before, I like pumpernickel and I like rye. Um, yeah. The the white breads and the rolls and whatnot that gives me this little belly that I have. This is not too too bad, you know. Show us that belly. Let's, let's huh? see that belly. No, that's okay. <laughs> it's, you'll see it one day. I'm coming to the restaurant. Actually, you you. You're opening up a restaurant. I almost forgot to ask you about that. How is it coming along? I am. I appreciate that. It's um, it's 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 a road, but it's a road that we're traversing really well, and we're making ours. Um, I'm opening a, a very fantastic burger place in New Hope, Pennsylvania. It's um, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna have a vibe. It's it's sexy. The food is is aggressive. It's uh, it's it's warming. You walk in and you hear music. You see people greeting you. You understand that we put thought. We put passion into these burgers, and when yeah. you order one by name, maybe one called Boastful and Delightful, you understand that this is a well thought out, well done burger. Yeah. This is burger that serves to you, like it's like you'll do your happy dance. You got your happy dance to do. <laughs> you know, Mine's something like salsa, you know. Yeah, you, yeah. You'll yeah. do your happy dance, and that's what our burgers are going to do. Burgerly in New Hope, Pennsylvania, that's opening April of this year. Okay, okay, yeah, we are definitely going to stop by. Chef, so while, while, while your while your dish is finishing, what's what's coming up outside of the um, the restaurant? So I'm working on um, getting back and hitting this catering. I'm gonna hit the road running because I feel there's gonna be this road band effect of when everybody's been in the house and wanting to book events. So right now we're doing a lot of small events, intimate birthday parties in the house, things like that. But I know it's going to turn around. We're going to have large events getting booked. And I'm going to have this really weird mishmash. We're trying to do both. I'm not going to be able to. So if you know anybody that can cook, serve, be remarkable all at the same time, tell them to write me. InforRemarkableCuisine.com. I'm going to need some. Okay. All right. They'll see this when when it goes on um, on Comcast. Um, Let's check our eggs. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh man. Nah, no, that's right. Oh yeah. Very nice. So I'm gonna put this here because I have to finish this. And I'm gonna finish this a couple different ways. And that's our cast iron eggs. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Now a couple things I did. When I served this. At our individual six course brunches, we take a nice plate like this, mm -hmm. put a paper towel underneath, and we this is how we serve it to you. Yes. Okay? Oh yeah, that's great. So they can they can eat it right out of the cast iron, and cast iron, as we know, keeps the food warm. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. we're not done yet. Our egg is in there. It's set. Our yolk is still runny. Okay. Watch what we do now. I'm going to finish this two different ways. I'm going to finish it with some Parmesan. Okay. I said some, let's go for a lot. <laughs> I love Parm. <laughs> One of my uh, sponsors is Andrea's Salomaria. They're on Central Avenue over here in Jersey City. Um, and I go there to get the, the mozzarella, et cetera, from them. And it's, it's so good. And their marinara sauces, they make them right there on the premises. It's a small place. You walk in, there's a little line. They are Italian. And let me tell you, the, the place is always packed with people. I can't they, wait do sandwich, they, they do sandwiches in the afternoon and people rushing in to get their stuff. The place is really nice. They're really nice to me. And what time are we meeting there? <laughs> but you know what? The thing is, you can't eat there. You got to take okay. the sandwich and go. It's just big enough just for a line to get to the counter. You put your order in, you wait. Let me tell you, the fire trucks come, the police truck, uh, police cars come. They all come to get his product because they're so fresh. That looks good. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Very nice. All right, I don't know if you see what I did there, but I finished that yeah. with Parmesan, parsley, scallion. Mm -hmm. I put mm -hmm. the arugula salad on top and then I put some fat olive oil to finish it also. Yes, yes. Okay. I could see, yes, I could see that. Mm -hmm. So that's our one way that I'm finished that. Our second way I'm doing, we're gonna have our bread. Our second way we're doing, I'm gonna scoop this out onto a plate mm -hmm. and I'm gonna finish it with the salad next to it, okay? Yeah. And some person is going to get that nice piece of sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's me. <laughs> Very good. So I cut out an egg. Uh huh. I got that on the plate. Oh man. Yeah, look at that. Yes. Piece of salmon. Mm hmm. Shrimp. Piece of shrimp. Yeah. You're calling now. You know how it is. <laughs> I'm gonna put our arugula salad next to this one because our plating factor has to include a vegetable. Yeah. And I'm gonna line it around to make it pretty, give it a little rim. Mm hmm Very good. What do we got? Parmesan. Mm hmm Not just some, but a lot. A lot. <laughs> Parsley. I got some micro arugula because we're using two, two things two different ways. Uh -huh. So you have arugula in the salad, you have micro arugula on top of the eggs. Yeah. A little bit of scallion because I love onions. And then what I have here is some micro watercress. Oh. I'll top that on top of there. I got an olive oil. Wow. That it. looks really good, Chef Mark. Wow, you did an excellent, excellent job. When I've done it, a little bit of balsamic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and Very good. That looks so good. Yes. You did an excellent, uh, yeah, I see. Excellent job. Wow. I am so glad that I made contact with you. And let me tell you, you are welcome on the show anytime. You could be a resident chef for us. <laughs> Listen, you invite me back. You don't have to bring your drone. You come over here and we cook together. How about that? That'll be good also. And don't forget now, I'm having a group of everyone come and it's going to be about six or seven different windows here on Zoom. And okay. everybody's going to be cooking. Da, 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 da. We're going to have a, a, a nice party. And talking about party, my birthday is on Sunday, so I'm gonna send you a, a Zoom invitation if you're free. I like it. Let's do it. I yeah, like it. yeah. Well, thank you so much, Chef Mark. It was wonderful, wonderful. How's your How's your daughter? Right, that's your daughter. She's fantastic. She's trying yeah. to go easy today. She's doing her best. I said you can't okay. be on TV. Okay. And tell your wife that I said hi. We'll and do it. Um, until the next time. Ladies and gentlemen, this was remarkable, remarkably Mark. And he's on Instagram under, let me get it right now, remarkably better, better right? Yes, indeed. And his business is under remarkable cuisine, correct? Yes, indeed. That is it. Yes. Remarkable cuisine. Yes, yes. And I will have all the information, um, ladies and gentlemen, when you uh, watch this. You know, we'll we'll put. Look at that, so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stop teasing, Mark. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. You have a wonderful day. And like I said, thank you for being here. And you're welcome to come anytime that you want. I so appreciate. It. Thank you guys. We need much. more. We need more people like you in the world. <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay. Until next time. Bye-bye. Until next Bye. time. Wasn't that good? Didn't I tell you? Chef Mark, thank you so much for coming on the show and showing us your talent. And of course, I told you before, you are coming back to fix one more or two more of your fabulous dishes. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. And then last week we had on Leslie Harrison. 
and she did a fantastic job. Oh, it was so good. She did a, a track call I wish I knew. Let me tell you, Leslie can sing her butt off and she is also a radio host for WBGO. And I'm sure plenty of you heard of WBGO. She's a fantastic jazz singer. And I know in the future, I'm gonna have her come back again. Her interview was sensational, sensational. And I got some more people coming up every, every show. I'm trying to bring on different people to introduce you to, okay? We also have coming up, it's called Sunday Brunch. Yes, yeah, Sunday Brunch. It's a Facebook Live every other Sunday at four o'clock, okay? I'm doing that with my co-host, Anthony Spirito, and guest, Pete Peterson. Now we, this, this live show is, a, we talk about a, a conglomerate of different things, diversified foods and cultures, and just having a good, good time. It premieres March the 7th, and then every other Sunday. It is Sunday brunch, and I'm sure you've seen the flyers on um, social media. And I hope, I hope you're able to tune in and be a part of it and talk to us, okay? No matter what type of food or where you're from, it's all accepted as one. That's the whole reason why we have this Facebook Live, okay? Let's start filling um, these tomatoes. The first thing that I want to do is just put a pinch of salt on the inside of them, just a pinch. And of course, the salt can help bring out the flavor. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna take a pinch of the roasted garlic pepper. Put this here. And I'm gonna squeeze it between my fingers. Oh yeah. This is going to work. Was there a song called This Is How We Do It? That was a good one, right? This is how we do it. Well, this is how we do this. Okay. I think that's a, you know. Did I do that? Yeah, Renee. Okay, let's try stuff in the first one. Now, I also prepared some lasagna noodles and the long noodle, I cut that in half and cut it again so we have pieces of four, which I'm going to layer on the inside, okay? So let's see, let's start off by putting some of our meat sauce, let's do it like this, in one, mm -hmm. just trying to push it down so it can get all the way down to the bottom. Let's try another. Push it so it's all the way down to the bottom. Let's try another. See that? All the way down to the bottom. Now I know I'm gonna have some of this sauce left over and I can take this and make a taco with it. You know what I'm talking about? A taco. All right. I have a, a new um, recipe that's coming up. Um, you're gonna be surprised what I'm using to make a taco. You've probably seen it before, but it's gonna be good. All right. So I got one, two, uh, a pinch more. Okay, so see, that stopped. I'm going to use my handy fork. I'm just going to take a little of this ricotta. See that? And put inside. Maybe it's better if I use a spoon. Look at that. Get some more. Let's 
spit that down in there. Mm, 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 mm. It's gonna be really good. And here's another. This is good for brunch, you know? Or you can even have this um, for breakfast. Yeah, because it's not very heavy. Let's do this one. See? Very, very easy. Now I'm going to take a slice and put it here. Actually, I should have put it on the inside, but this is all work. I'm going to take another one. I'm going to put it here. And take another. Put it here. And another piece. Let's get those out the way. And put it here. Okay. Look at these, they look really nice. Okay. Very nice. Now what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take some more of this mixture. I'm gonna put it right on top. Nice dollop, right on top. Okay, come off this one. So you know what's gonna happen. When it's in the oven, you put it in the oven at 350 degrees, and what's gonna happen? This cheese is just gonna start to bubble, and it's gonna run down. Oh my goodness, you're gonna go crazy. And say, Renee, this was a good recipe. Yeah, there's another. Woo! And, another, now I'm putting a good amount, because we have that that um, mixture on the inside. Yeah. Okay. And let's move this. And it's a little heavy. If we have all that, that ground turkey in there. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I love this mixture so. I'm going to give it a little height, all of them a little bit more height. Let's get this one here. Mm, 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 mm. And I can just see the parsley in this and the fresh basil. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Okay, I think, I think we have it. A little bit for this one. Ooh. Wow, <laughs> look at these. Let me move this out the way. Look at these. Let me clean up a little because the next step is to put these in the oven. Mm. Yeah, that's the way. Wow, these are looking so good. I don't know what to do with myself, but have another sip of wine. Mm. Yeah, so these are made very similar to um, lasagna. Okay. The only thing that I forgot is to take another piece of lasagna. I can put that at the bottom or after I put the uh, ground turkey, then put that and then build up from there because then you're going to have layers. Now, this is already set. When it comes out to oven, you can just give it a little sprinkle of parsley, some olive oil on it. And let me tell you, you will go to town on this. Now, what I also have, which I saved, which are the tops. 
There's one. This one lost the middle. Oh, the poor thing. Okay. Yes. This one is here. And this one is here. Doesn't that look inviting? Yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, 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 mm. So let's set this up on a tray and uh, then I'll be ready to go in the oven, okay? Be right back. Every other Sunday starting March the 7th, uh, it's going to be Sunday brunch with my co-host Anthony Spirito and our guest Pete Peterson. We're going to talk about all different types of food from all over the country as we go on week by week. We're going to prepare something, something really light, maybe on one of the shows, okay? Um, diversified, okay? We need this. We need to sit and talk about food and come on and, and join us. Don't be afraid. Come in and join us. Ask questions. Share your thoughts on the, the food that you prepare from recipes that go down from the years. Share with us. Don't be afraid. We don't bite. We just eat, okay? Until the next time, Continue to stay safe. Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result. 